So in this video here, we're going to take a look at a tool which we're going to use to create a roadmap to become a computer vision and AI engineer. This tool here can both create like flow charts, mind maps, and so on. Everything is connected together with AI. We can just prompt it, ask it, how do you become a computer vision engineer and so on. And it can create a detailed flow chart so you can see each individual step. I'm going to cover all of it. I'm going to talk about how you can actually become a computer vision and AI engineer, all the different steps and so on. But you can also use this tool for a lot of other stuff if you're creating projects, if you want to explain your whole pipeline of your machine learning AI project that you're doing. Could be that you're writing reports, documentation, and so on. So let's just jump straight into the platform. I've opened up this tool called eDraw.ai. It has all these different AI features directly connected into the platform. They have all these tools that we're going to cover. We're going to dive more into details with some of them and also talk about how we can create this flowchart so you know each individual step in the pipeline to become a machine learning AI and also a computer vision engineer. All the information and so on will be down in the description if you want to check out the tool. Definitely going to do that because this can save you a ton of time. It's really easy. Just use AI to generate some initial flow charge for whatever project that you're doing, whatever pipeline you're trying to set up, and you can always go in and do corrections manually. So the first tool here is an AI mind map. So you can basically just ask it to create a mind map. So it's going to have one topic, could be computer vision engineer, and then it's just going to connect all the different research. So if you're brainstorming ideas and so on, it can go in and create these mind maps. We also have flow charts. If you want to explain like the flow of your system, set up a whole pipeline, could be that you just want to have a pipeline with how to become a computer vision engineer, AI file analysis, drop in files, large files and so on. You can summarize the key points. So this is basically just as chatting with PDF files and so on, AI drawing, AI chat, and also AI diagrams. There's a bunch of other different tools and so on like OCR scanners and all of that or generate AI images. But let's now just jump into one of them. We can create a new one over here to the left. You can see your reason, templates, and so on. You can also use all these templates as a beginning. So you can just take one of them, go in and edit it. And this is a very cool tool. You've probably been looking for a bunch of different online tools that you can use for generating like flowcharts. Maybe you're writing reports, you're setting up pipelines. Like this is very useful if you're a software engineer working in tech in general and so on, because it's way easier to write code when you have the whole pipeline, when you have the system architecture, you can also create system diagrams. So it's way easier to just go in basically just plan all the work, plan the architecture of your software system. And this tool can help you be way more productive either by using the templates or having these AI act like drawing the diagrams for you, the flow charts. Could be that you don't even know like how to set up the pipeline or whatever you're working on. Could be a project or a task that you get into. You just want to do some research. Okay, how do you actually like, set up the correct pipeline? What is the best steps in the pipeline and so on? You might not be familiar with that. Like there's a lot of problems we're trying to solve out in the world when we're getting into new projects and so on where we don't know that. So we can actually use the AI tools to help us with that, make ourselves more productive, but also just make our do new stuff that we haven't done before. So let's not just go inside this AI flowchart. I think this is definitely like the coolest and the one that I find the most useful. So if you just go inside here, flowchart. So let's just say like flowchart for becoming a computer vision engineer. There we go. That's pretty much everything that we need. They also have some sample prompts and so on that you can test out. All different tools will be the AI map mind map, the AI flowchart diagram, and all of that is over here to the left. It's just a single prompt. We hit start and we'll get the results here on the right side. It's pretty fast. And then you can go in and edit these flowchart, the mind maps and so on after that. So it's now I'm gonna just wait until I generated and talk about the individual steps of how, like how to become a computer vision engineer. It's now just edited in Canvas, so we can go and see the modifications that we can do to it, all the different tools available, which is also pretty cool. So usually I use some other online platforms to make my visualization and so on. But again, it just takes a lot of time to set up these flow charts, like find the correct connections and so on. You can change the colors, themes, and adjust the size of the bounding boxes and so on for our individual steps in the pipeline. So here we just have an initial pipeline. You don't have to think about setting it up. You can just verify it and make the modifications that you want. So first of all here, we have a start. Then we want to obtain a relevant degree. Could be that we want to do some modifications to that one. I don't really agree too much on that. So we can either go in and delete it or basically just edit it. Let's just go in and act like just delete it for now. 
I just hit the delete button. It's going to auto connect the other lines here in the pipeline. So it's really easy. We can go in and see, we can change the text, all of that. We're familiar with that. If we're working with any like text-based editing tools over here to the right, we can specify the connector, the text colors, themes, and we have all these different variations that you can go in and use, which is pretty cool as well. Over to the left, we have symbols, like there's a bunch of different symbols for like whatever we want. So here, for example, we have stored data, we have direct data, database, and so on. So these are some really cool shapes that you're normally using in a pipeline when you're explaining a diagram, setting up a system architecture and so on. So you're basically just telling the reader, okay, we want to have a database here. That database should be connected to a backend service and so on. And that is really good when you're working on large scale systems. And also just in general, to go in, document your process, your project and so on. I'm really recommending that. Also in my AI career program courses or everything I have, where I basically just talk about like, build your own personal brand, basically just document your work, gain more credibility and so on by putting your work out there, but it also needs to look professional. So if you can create these diagrams, documentation and so on, fairly easy with AI, like these tools, then we can stand out significantly more, put your work out there and you will grow your personal brand as well. So we start, we gain practical experience. That's pretty good. Probably be a bit later stages. First of all, we need to develop some programming skills. We need to know the basics of programming. I fully agree on that. And that will probably be one of the first steps. So either like Python or something, at least we need to know some programming. Then we need to learn computer vision libraries. That's a pretty good start as well. You can play around with OpenCV, do some basic functionality and so on. It's a really good way to just get into computer vision as fast as possible learn how it works like we pretty much use OpenCV and those libraries for everything but you can also visually see that you're doing something even in the start of your learning journey personal projects practical experience and so on is always a good thing to do so that is definitely like a very good step to do we might want to add some basic theory and so on about computer vision this is like a very theoretical like topic both machine learning, AI, computer vision, all of this. Like we need to know a bit about like how does cameras work? What are the camera parameters? What is 2D images, 3D vision? How do we go from 2D to 3D? Some of these basic calculations, how do we get depth in our image and so on as well. So that's also very important. Then when we work on personal projects, could also be open source projects. It's a good way to contribute to open source projects as well. You gain a ton of like both programming skills, knowledge, how do you contribute to larger frameworks, larger code bases and so on. Because when we get out in the real world and want to solve like real business use cases, we really need to understand how do we actually like take our code? It works in our local environment, in our Python script. How do we actually like take that and integrate it into a larger system or basically just fork a repo, make some modifications, add some functionality and features. And that's pretty much how we code out there in the real world. Then you can attend some conferences and workshops. Also pretty good when you're at that level. Network with professionals, go hand in hand with all the other stuff, like put your work out there, gain credibility, build your network and so on. So you get more opportunities, both job opportunities, but also just building your network and personal brand. And then you can start to apply for computer vision positions and so on. Some of these go hand in hand. So this is more like a flowchart of like how to actually like start from scratch when you want to become a computer vision engineer until the end and not really the learning journey, but more the individual steps going from scratch to a computer vision engineer. But they also have some technical terms in here. You, you can go in and add some of your own custom stuff to this, but this is pretty awesome. We can also do the exact same thing with mind maps. It's just going to pretty, pretty much just have the topic and then make the bubbles around it. So definitely try out that tool as well. They also have these AI diagrams. If you go into that, we can actually just select the type of diagram that we want to have and then just enter one sentence to produce a complete diagram and you can switch between the different types and so on. And you can also export them directly, use them in your projects, documentation and so on. So just go in here, have the AI selection. So basically just Python versus C++ programming language. Let's just hit start. Let's see what it's going to generate. And we also have this AI selection for this diagram type, but you can also choose that one yourself. And if you just go through all the different diagrams that they have, like we have heat map, radar, funnel chart, candlesticks, we pretty much have all the different diagram types supported in here. So that is a very awesome way as well. So right now we basically just have like a graph showing the different use cases between Python and also C++. So right now I can see we have C++, we have use cases, popularity, performance, syntax, 
and then we basically just have it for both of them. So this is pretty awesome. So this is just a comparison between C++ and Python, exactly what we wanted. We can see popularity, use cases, performance syntax, and also here on the right side, we have the Python, data science, web development, slow execution, interpreted. Over here, we have like game development, systems programming. We have very fast execution and also a compiled language. So this is pretty much accurate information as well. This was pretty cool. Like they have all these AI features, very good for documentation and just explaining your work, but also for yourself, make yourself more productive, make your work easier, do the research to start with, then get into the programming and it will be a lot easier. Definitely gonna check out this tool here and then just stay tuned for one of the upcoming videos on the channel. Until then, happy learning.